Hello and welcome to this episode. Today what I want to do is talk about who protects the patient. You know, in our society today, when a patient goes to the doctor or the hospital with a, con with a condition, with a physical challenge, with a situation, and the medical community ignores that situation by denying it, di by, can't even talk today, by denying its existence. Who protects the patient when the patient is telling the truth? And why is the doctor only looking at those symptoms that would suggest psychological cause rather than looking at those symptoms that cannot be produced through psychological involvement. This is a teaching that these doctors undergo. This is a philosophy of medicine today. When I have said people are expendable you're expendable. For so many of us, when we go to the doctor and we're being truthful, we are being flat out truthful with the doctor. We're not exaggerating it. We're not embellishing it. We're not any of that. We're as truthful as the person that's had a clear stroke is truthful. But when we get there, when we're transferred there, when we're transported there, when whatever the scenario may be, the doctor looks at you and says, no, that's not the way the human body works. No, that's not the way the human body works. I remember when I got sick originally and the doctor played that card. I was hooked up to an IV at the time, so as I've stated before, IVs have a way to remarkably improve our system temporarily as long as they're plugged in. As the doctor's running his mouth and as he's beginning to leave, I said to him, and strawberries don't kill people. I remember this neurologist put his hand on the door, looked down, just wanted to scream tear my head off for saying that. I meant it. He looked around, he looked back at me and he said, you didn't ever attend medical school. So you're welcome to believe whatever you want to believe. But I know sick people and you're not one of them. Strangely enough, that would change. <laughs> You know, like a lot of us, we're not believed, and then the evidence becomes demonstrated that we were, in fact, telling the truth. But the doctor has to look and be wanting to look, be willing to look in those areas that aren't normally looked in. But for so many patients, this experience amounts to little amounts to basically complete medical abuse on the part of the patient. Who protects the patient? Society has said, if the medical community says, what's wrong with you, that's acceptable. What the patient knows or says is irrelevant. I can't even talk. People are hurting who are telling the truth. People are being victimized who are telling the truth. And those of us who have remained relatively unmedicated 
have an obligation to speak the truth. People ask me why I do what I do. I do it because I know what it is to be sitting on that gurney or sitting on that, that table and be belittled, denigrated, humiliated. And so many people in that situation feel they have no choice. They are pressured into conforming to what the doctor is telling them. They are forced against their will through intimidation to take medication for a condition they may or may not have. Many of the people who listen to the medical community walk away addicted to pharmaceuticals because they trusted or, or were intimidated to take the drugs against their better judgment. And as we know, as we know, many of these pharmaceuticals are being used as off-label. They are being used to treat everything under the sun except for what the for what they were intended. You got to trust yourself. That's who protects the patient. You. The person who's responsible for protecting the patient from medical abuse is you, the patient. And the only way you do that is to do your own homework. Before you go get those prescriptions filled, research them. Get a copy of the doctor's notes as to what they have said about you. Do not let intimidation or desperation rule in this situation. You're the one who has to protect yourself. I'm 17 years into this game and you might notice there's an awful big difference between me and a lot of people. I've never dropped my guard even when I was able to prove to them irrefutably that what I was saying was in fact true. Be careful folks till next time. Be smart, be careful, be, be safe. and fight. Fight for yourself. Fight for your loved ones. The world is better off with you in it. They truly are.